In this next topic, we've got a new feature demo of the Model 3 Highland, and now we've got a post that says that the Model 3 Highland will have improved suspension with select frequency dampening. So let's take a look at it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. So that's my biggest gripe with the Model 3 and the Model Y is that the suspension is on the harsher side. And it's not Tesla's fault because Tesla's and other electric vehicles are heavier vehicles. And so not, no one has really met, gotten, it, gotten it correct with a very comfortable ride for the Model 3 and Model Y. I mean, it's decent. It's not that bad, but it can be a little jumpy jarring uh maybe i would even say it's like some honda or toyota products could be a little bit more comfortable but it seems like tesla has figured this out a little bit with their newest model 3 we've got a new post shout out to it not a tesla app in which the Model 3 features an improved suspension with selective frequency dampening. I wonder if this is as good as like air suspension. It probably isn't, but hopefully there is a dial or toggle in which we can select different ways to uh, have a more comfortable ride on your Tesla vehicle. But really cool to see we've altered frequency selective dampening, which is more performant, funner to drive, and improves overall handling. I mean, that's really going to be the comfort with the most adding the most comfortableness with a Tesla vehicle is just making sure that it is able to handle the bumps and the potholes wherever you're at. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. We can't wait to get our hands on a Model 3 Highland. I mean, I'm definitely, I'm debating because maybe I will just order one when it opens up in the US and that's most likely going to be next year with that. But we're going to jump into the